My name is John Mad Dog Hall, and I am the Executive Director of Linux International. We are an association of companies that are trying to promote the use of software Libra. I'm here today because I've been asked to talk about software innovation and how free software can help people with innovating with solutions. There's a lot of people that use closed source proprietary software. And with closed source proprietary software, you do not get the source code, which allows you to change the software to have it do what you need. There are lots of companies that do innovation in their software products. However, this does not mean that the end user can be innovative with those products. Basically, all of the end user customers get the same product and therefore may have the same solutions. With software Libra, the end user can change the software to meet their own needs and therefore have a much more innovative solution. Let me give an illustration with this little presentation I have of the two blue circles. With proprietary software, we can illustrate that by thinking of it as a square peg, which is going to be filling this round hole of a problem. No matter how many of the square pegs you use, you never really fill the entire problem. We start off with a single large program that we purchase and it is a square peg. We can't change the shape or the size of it. It fits a certain need. But you can see that there's a lot of round problem still showing through. Problem that is not solved by the proprietary program. So what you do is you try and buy another proprietary package, perhaps a printer package or something like that. I go, I find another problem, another solution, and another one, and another one. But because all of these are fixed solutions and I can't change, I still have a certain portion of my problem that is unsolved. A lot of people say, well, I will buy a very large package that does everything. But the problem with that is that now you've bought a very expensive package. It's a package which may have a lot of features that you have to train or tune. And yes, it covers the entire problem, but at a very large expense. What you'd really like to do is to be able to take that very large solution and change it, modify it, make it simpler, make it meet your exact need. This is what free software allows you to do. Tailor the solution to your exact problem. Now, Casa Economa Federal had a problem with the lottery. They wanted to be able to shorten the length of time it took for them to produce a new lottery game. By utilizing free software instead of a closed source proprietary solution, they were able to shorten the time it took for them to create a new lottery game and therefore increase the revenues that they had of bringing in the game's new revenues. That's very important. They utilized the Debian operating system and a lot of other free and open source software. And they created their own solution to their problem. Now, obviously, the lottery is a very mission critical problem. You can't have the lottery system going down in the last few minutes of a get lottery game. And this is one reason why they use Debian, a very stable and secure Linux distribution. It's also the basis of a lot of other distributions, such as Canopix, Ubuntu, and others. Debian was an innovative solution to an innovative problem. And I think I congratulate Kasha Economa Federal for the choice of Debian and the Debian product team for creating a product which allowed them to create that solution.